I'm not homesick for my native Finland too often here in India, but Christmas is one of those times when I'd rather be in Finland with my family and our traditions. I always try to celebrate a Finnish Christmas at home with my husband, but last year we were in the middle of relocating to Kerala and hadn't got our new home yet so we were forced to travel the whole of December and January. I forced my husband to schedule our road trip so that we could be in Kochi for Christmas. I thought that was where I could get the closest thing to finish Christmas. <laughs> Cheers, this is my Christmas drink. You, Blug. Mm. Anything, like, the only thing that could be better is mulled wine. I'll deal with this. Yep. <laughs> so we are visiting the Matancheri town area now. And here we are entering the Ju town, which is a very, very famous area here in Port Kochi. And yeah, it's an ancient Jewish settlement. And we have synagogues here, all these old, cute little shops. Also, like, of course, all the touristy things too. But it has like such a unique vibe here in India that it's just, even with the crowds, I just enjoy being here and looking at all those small little buy shops, tea shops, book shops, old item shops. It's just like just look at it. Like anywhere in Port Kochi, the cafes and restaurants are just absolutely breathtaking here. It's it's more like an art show than just the food. Of course, food is also art. Remember that. But you, or you, if you are like me, have pretty much everything here that you might ever want. Mm -hmm. Even from India, mm. point proven. So let's enter the Ginger House Museum Hotel just so I can prove you the point that restaurants and cafes and hotels here are just like pure art. I love India and the food, the culture, the people here. But for Christmas, I wanted to get as far away from India as possible and celebrate my roots, find anything as European as possible. It didn't matter if it was something I didn't even really like and would never do back home in Finland, as long as it was something European and not Indian. I was trying to find something resembling Finnish Christmas food. So we are here at Svetlana Cafe for a fancy Christmas lunch as you can see. Well, I will take it back at the evening feast which I do not know yet will be a feast for the traditional Christmas uh, but yep, I'll, I'm happy with this anyways it's so hot that it'll be too difficult to have the uh, roast ham, uh, smoked salmon, potato casseroles and all this like traditional Finnish cuisine for Christmas this one I can have We're in a hurry to catch a ferry, <laughs> and that was a rhyme, but he is just like... Let him go. You can't push. I was trying to find the Christmas peace declared in Finland for all of Christmas time when everything gets completely silent and people only stay at home with their families. Yes, we are going to have a very, very small Christmas. I even went to a mall trying to maybe find Santa or his elves 
or maybe the joy of Christmas capitalism and shopping my own gifts. We've come to spend the Christmas Eve at Lulu Mall, which is one of the biggest shopping centers here in India. And yeah, pretty much in Fort Kochi, all the Christmas events start later tonight, and then the carnival only starts tomorrow. So we had some free hours to spend now during the night. And we thought that what better place to find Christmassy feeling of capitalism than a mall. And here we already found some like really, really Christmassy decorations and waiters with their Christmas hats. So shall we go and see if they have anything really sweet and Christmassy there to give the poor Finnish girl without her snowy, snowy wonderland. Let's go and see. So I don't think that we're gonna stop here for dessert, even though yes, they have very, very Christmassy decorations here. And the gingerbread house would be my cup of tea or my kind of piece of sweetness today. But yeah, let's go and see what we can find somewhere else. I was only heading to disappointment. On the verge of tears, hating being in India with every cell in my body because I never got to follow my Finnish way of life, I had to face the fact that I had to let go and embrace change. I would create my own traditions with my husband. Okay, guys, so I realized that I was doing something very, very wrong, which is that I was trying to find the Finnish Christmas here in India and that is never going to happen. I cannot have all the Finnish snow, Finnish food, Finnish traditions here in India. So I gave up new Finnish, new Christmas tradition ice cream, yep. blueberry banana and jackfruit from Naturals, yummy. Maybe next year I'll be in Finland this time of year, but right now this is going to be the Christmas thing. Uh, yep, this and puttu for dinner. <laughs> oh yes, this and puttu for dinner. Would you be able to do this in order? Nope. Not a strong man. No. So, any applicants there? Mod Modi is a strong man. Strong. Modi is a strong man, babe. Guys, I think that is where the Santa has been meeting all the good good kids in India But sadly he's not there at the moment, but you know that Santa lives in Finland In Finland, not North Pole, in Finland, so we are very tight bodies I've met him so many times in my life already. I did not need to see him specifically today anyways this seems to be where all the Christmas magic is at this mall and otherwise it has been a very very normal mall visit it, um, it's a very big mall for something in Kerala and very basic selection but we did get to do some Christmas shopping so I have some gifts from me to me yay a swimsuit and some facial oil just some basic necessities but it has been quite a nice time with the AC and some Christmas magic here. So a little bit more Christmas spirit outside the mall here in this very cute little Christmas market. It's hot, humid and the grass is fake but yeah I have to say that I'm pleasantly surprised to see something so European here in Kochi. Guys, I found Santa after all, so ho ho ho! Very Merry Christmas to all! <laughs> Suggestion 
for Christmas dinner in uh, Ernakulam is Japuttu. So let's go and see what kind of Christmas dinner I can get here. So they just brought in this uh, welcome drink, black tea. Twice? It seriously smells like Christmas. No, it's really good. It's not black tea, it's more like a Christmas drink. Cheers! Christmas! that and that's all for you Anna my food is yet to come <laughs> oh my god what a Christmas dinner maybe not the traditional Finnish food that I was trying to look for but Ooh. so here we have a patiri which is some kind of a, some kind of rice roti something very traditional Kerala thing a papad wasu papad wow uh, mixed veg curry, uh, squid tempura, then uh, this was a puttu with uh, lady fingers and uh, fish. fish, and then we have prawns that is prepared in some Keralan way. I cannot say the word at all. So let's begin. I don't even know where to begin. There's oh, so much food. I'm waiting for my food. <laughs> Good. Mm. Oh, very much. Thank you. It was amazing. Thank you, Thank you so much. And Merry Christmas. Thank you. Same to you. Thank you. Bye. So I know that I said I'm not going to search for Finnish Christmas anymore in Kochi but this I had already decided much earlier because there is something that is so quintessentially Western and that is of course the midnight Christmas mass in the Catholic churches here and truth be told I have never even been to Christmas church in Finland but this felt like such a traditional thing that would at least bring me some kind of sense of home that yep here we are on our way to a Christmas mass mm. honestly exhausted already but still what can I say I'm a stubborn girl I need to go so let's go and find connection to Christmas even though I am not a Christian believer it's just my roots but chill when you're sitting at a pretty place like this. <laughs> so apparently I did not get enough of churches last night at the midnight mass. 
So we came to visit St. Francis Church here in Port Kochi and this is the oldest church in Kerala, I think even maybe all of India. It's built in the, I think, 15, 1600s, I'll need to check that. And uh, I had the assumption that this was supposed to be the fanciest church here too. Uh, it's definitely the most historical and majestic looking one, but yeah, maybe not the most impressive that I've seen. But let's go and see if that can that opinion can be changed. Maybe it's not the most majestic, impressive one, fanciest church here in Ochi, but it definitely has the sense of something very grand. It's like so intimate and I can feel the feelings just flowing here. Yeah. 
pustettu on pikuusen oksilla. Kuusen pienet kynttiläiset valhaisevat kaunisti. Ympärillä lapsukaiset laulevat suurosti. Stop!